like I said before, I was going to do another Blu-ray update. I'm not going to call it Blu-ray update no, number 3, I'm going to call it Blu-ray update 2.5 since it's, the last update was kind of close since last week. Now first up we got is Project X. Now a lot of people, well, a lot of reviews I saw on YouTube, some of them hate it, some of them liked it, some of them were in between. So I had a lot of mixed reviews from um, some of the reviewers I heard. Like some of the older reviewers didn't like it, some of the young reviewers did like it. Me, I'm kind of in between. I don't know if that makes me old or young, but this is a movie that doesn't really need a script. It's just like non non-stop partying and just having a good time. Uh, I I particularly enjoyed it. Looking back on it, it was okay. Yeah, it's just it's a party movie that has doesn't really need no script. Like you can film your own party and make this movie. But I thought it was kind of fun. Now the next movie I got, which I think I got robbed for. Which, I, which is one of my favorite movies of 2011. I, was, I got robbed at Best Buy. They wanted, uh, they wanted about $20 for it. I said, I wasn't, really going to, I wasn't really going to pay $20, but I said, you know what? What the heck? And that's 50-50. Now, I paid $20 for it, and it doesn't even have a DVD with it. But I think it was worth it, because it's one of my favorite movies of 2011. It's about cancer, but it doesn't show disrespect to cancer. Um, it shows how they deal with cancer for the most part. Seth Rogen, uh, anything he does, Seth Rogen, anything Seth Rogen does, I enjoy. He's always a good, fun, he's a funny uh, comedian to me, along with um, Jonah Hill. And I thought this was a really good movie. Next up we got is District 9. Now, I remember seeing it a couple years ago, but I watched it again and I fell asleep on it. So I really got to rewatch it again to enjoy it more. But I, I really like uh, District 9. I really like the sci-fi actions of it. Next up we got is... Crazy Stupid Love. Now, I'm not the type to be into those romantic comedy type of movies, but I rented it on Netflix and I really enjoyed it. I think this is one of the best casted uh, romantic comedies I, I've ever seen. You got Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell, Julianne Moore, uh, Marissa Topley, I think I'm saying her name right, and um, Emma Stone. Very well directed film or movie. Very funny. And I thought it could be a little shorter than what it is. When uh, Ryan Gosling and, and Steve Carell are not on screen together, it really tailed off a little bit. But for the most part, this is a very put together uh, movie. Next movie I got up is The Departed. That's my Boston accent. I'm from New York. Don't blame me. Now, The Departed, like I said before, like, uh, like Crazy Stupid Love, one of the best casted movies I've seen. You got like Robert, not Robert De Niro. Hmm. You got, uh, what's his name? I'm looking, Jack Nicholson, uh, Matt Damon, Leonardo DiCaprio, and a lot of other people in it as well. And this is one, this is a good Martin, this is a good Martin Scorsese film. Now, I'm not really a big Martin Scorsese fan, but uh, I like The Departed, Shutter Island, and I like The Taxi Driver. One of my, those are three of my favorite Martin Scorsese films. Now, I haven't seen Goodfellas. Because I got I got Netflix it, but I got that coming on the way. But The Departed is one of those crazy movies that every story twines in together, and it done it and it done it really well. But the story at the end is kind of really messed up. But I really enjoyed um, this movie, and Jack Nicholson does a great performance in this movie, along with um, Mark Wahlberg in here as well. I think this is a good movie, a good crime movie from Mark Scorsese. Last but not least. It's like I said before, I'm going for completing my Christopher Nolan collection. And I found this at a great deal. Kind of makes up for me buying $20 um, from 50-50. And that's the, the Prestige. Now, the Prestige I got at Best Buy for about $7.99. I had to get it. It was the last one there. So I got the Prestige and I still love it. Now, I thought some of the, some of the story has a little plot holes to it. But I really do enjoy it. This is one of my favorite movies. If you take, if I take out The Dark Knight and Batman Begins, this is, wow, hmm. my third favorite movie behind Inception, Memento, and this will become a third. But for me, Chris Nolan can never really disappoint me. So, but this movie, I thought, it's a little plot holes, but overall, it's a good, solid movie, and I enjoyed it. Those are my Blu-rays I picked up for the last couple of months. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for next Tuesday. I'll be doing a Heroes Montage. You won't see my face, but you'll see one of my videos. And that's be coming out next Tuesday. And if you haven't checked out 
my other Blu-ray update that I did last week, click right here or right here, whichever way fits the annotation. But check that out, and also check out my Flashback Wednesday with Jurassic Park. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time.